So coming to my project. Hi, uh, this is Sai Krishna Kesneni from USQD Schools uh, of Usharama College of Engineering and Technology. So coming to my project, my project title is that uh, predicting the future of uh, stock market of particular company using past residuals. So everyone is keen to know about the future, what is going to happen in the future and how we need to act according to that things. So here, uh, so that's why I have taken this project for predicting the future. So initially what's the input I, have, I will be taken and what are the predictions I will be made? Uh, let, let me make clear to you that. So first initially I will take the Apple company share market data. So here uh, you can see the input data. So here the past 10 years data of the Apple company from 2007 to 2016 I have taken and Apple uh, for particular day the opening price high price and the lease price and the closing price and all those things I have taken. So by using all these past 10 years data from 2007 to 2016 of, of, of Apple company I will predict the data for 2017 I'll predict the data for 2017 so first day third month so for this date I'm going to predict the what will be the share market price of same Apple company that is opening price high price lease price and the closing price and all those things so how it is made possible is that yeah you can take uh, I, I have taken the reference from few websites as well so coming to my references here uh, it's github for for prediction and analysis i have used in time series analysis with arima appended to it so everyone know time series analysis we need to make the data constant i mean uh, stationarize the data initially and after that we need to perform some metrics on it and uh, for removing outliers and all those things so you can uh, you can see the outline here and you can refer the link github.com slash time series analysis with python so uh, outline is that first initially we need to obtain the time series data that means that data is to be obtained in the format of time series that means that uh, various according to the time the variations of data need to be shown by using bar graphs charts etc so coming to second uh, so generate hypothesis for various solution approaches after stationarizing the series so we need to generate some hypothesis that means that if the values are pre uh, i mean if the va data set values are uh, in hypothesis test uh, if the data values are greater than zero less than zero equal to zero then what are the if does the uh, series is stationarized or not we need to check so exploring the time series data that means that we need to remove the outliers that causing the trend factor in the data sets so, and, and we need to uh, include the missing values of the data so some data sets may be inappropriate inappropriate so we need to add the missing values as well so uh, by performing all these metrics and calculations and analysis so we need to visualize the time series data again and we need to find uh, add uh, arima modeling arima in the sense auto regressive integrated moving averages model and after that so there are various regression models but we use arima for time uh, i have taken arima for the uh, prediction prediction purpose so in the arima process so first initially uh, we need to make correlation factors among the data set and finally we need to make the predictions so the flow the flow of the project is here so initially i will visualize the time series and station uh, second step i will stationarize the series stationarizing in the sense here we uh, i will make mean and variance are, are cons as constants so me uh, trend factor need to be eliminated so how can we know whether the a series is stationarized or not i mean the data set is data sets are stationarized or not here we will perform dickey fuller test dickey fuller test uh, is used for testing stationarity of the series if the series is made stationarized so the mean and variance are kept constant then the dickey fuller test will be successful and we will move on further steps so if dickey fuller test doesn't satisfy the given criteria then we will again make the uh, stationary steps we will again move, move on to the stationarizing steps so for ma making the series stationarize so coming to the third one plotting acf and pacf charts and finding optimal parameters here i want to make you clear about optimal parameters optimal parameters in the sense so the parameters which are causing uh, to improve or decrease that uh, share market prices suppose if apple company is situated in india so the share uh, share price may be increased because uh, in india there are more purchases for that product and all those things so which causes uh, a trend in the increasing of the share price so here it is considered as an optimal parameter so we need to consider positives as well as negative parameters uh, also so 
ACF and PACF pl plots. It is auto correlation factors and uh, auto correlation uh, plots. And uh, here, what we will uh, do is that between the data sets, there exists some relationship. Uh, that means that uh, if one data set opening price and closing price have some same uh, correlations, so we need to identify that thing and we need to. Uh, identify we need to plot that correlations by using acf and pacf plots by making that thing we we can easily remove the seasonality and trend factor and we can make the predictions much more accurate so and the fine uh, fourth thing is that building the arima model arima as i, I have stated above it is auto regressive in integrated moving averages model by using arima we apply simple formulas for making predictions accurate here we will remove trend seasonality and outliers which makes the data uh, deviating from the norm so finally we'll make out the predictions as well so here the stepwise process first visualizing the time series station rising in the series so here is the formula for station rising x of t is equal to mean plus trend here mean is kept constant so trend factor will be removed with respect to the time factor star t so plus error every prediction have some error rate we need to minimize that thing so x of t is the current time factor and uh, Detrending is one thing, uh, one method, and differencing is also another method for station rising the series. Here, we what we will do is x of t is the current time, and x of t minus is the past time. So we are eliminating past outliers from the present time data sets. So after this, we will apply Arima model and find optimal uh, parameters, uh, optimal parameters, and uh, plot ACF and PACF plots. After applying Arima model, we will make out the predictions as well, and finally we will eliminate the error factors so how this is to be done here you can see the python coding so here i have used so many libraries as well so first i have gone for pandas matplotlib and numpy uh, scientific python as well skykit learn so here everyone is familiar to you everything is familiar to you but i have used stats models why i have used stats models is that by applying arima the output will be in the form of bar graphs and chats which are uh, which are statistical models so for identifying that kind of things we need a stats model library as well so all these libraries are added and you can see the apple data set is uh, uploaded to the i mean uploaded and after that uh, correlation auto correlation plots are made after auto correlation plots are made then dicky fuller test is performed for stationarity i mean stationarizing tests so after a uh, stationarity test auto, auto correlation of residuals are plotted i mean printed and finally deleting outliers here we will apply the arima model as well and we will delete the outliers outliers mean the sense the factors which causing the trend factor and deviating the data set from norm normals so for i mean which disturbs the stationarity of the series so we need to eliminate those outliers for uh, after eliminating those outliers we will plot all the things seasonality trend factor residuals after uh, all the things will predict the stock value of the future so let's go for the execution of this thing uh, initially yeah so I have uh, my project is in desktop in the pro folder so I'm going to execute the my Python script that is the file name is pre dot with extension py So here is the output. First, it has built a auto correlation factor with residual arima. Here, x axis represents the lag factor of the time, and uh, y axis represents the auto correlation. And here, the trends of the data sets. Here, you can see uh, at the left bottom corner, x equal to y equal to, these are the auto correlation factor uh, according to the lag time. I mean, uh, by considering the time factor, that means that past 10 years data means that. Uh, from year to year time changes and as with the time auto correlation factor changes so all these are plotted in this graphs and coming to the second one uh, here you can see after performing uh, auto correlation just dicky fuller test is performed for uh, uh, stationary stationarity so here the graph shows that whether the mean is constant variance is constant and there uh, exists a standard deviation and what is the minimum deviation maximum deviation and all those things are plotted here in this graph so coming to the this is the main part of the uh, project so here first figure after stationarizing the series uh, number of observations used and all those things are plotted here that means that what uh, after 
plotting all those things after performing the decay fuller test for the stationarity after stationarizing in the series this is the output the output is represented by using graphs you can see here at the bottom left corner x equal to y equal to that means that in x axis we will take the data sets i mean data set values and in the y axis uh, we will take the uh, what we can say for the part particular seasonality and what what is the improvement in the stock prices and all those things so after this coming to figure true uh, here you can see clearly this is the original data flow from for past 10 years this is the original data flow and there may be increase and decrease fluctuations and all over here so this is the trend factor trend factor in the sense that which causes that data to be fluctuate i mean uh, the base factor for the data fluctuations that means that uh, which factor influences the seasonality and uh, stationarize stationarity of the series so we need to eliminate this trend factor as well for to make the series stationarize so after this is the seasonality for each and every year there exists seasonality that means that uh, constant changes that make over so seasonality kept uh, need to be kept constant i mean uh, in all the years uh, residuals even the residuals here all the residuals are uh, 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 stationarized but in some cases the residuals are maximum so we need to eliminate these things so by eliminating trend factor uh, in from the original data and from residuals and all over the things so we will make the predictions so finally finally i will so finally so this is the predicted graph so the red indicated the predicted uh, graph and where the red line indicated the predicted graph of the stock value of uh, date of, of current date and blue line represents the actual stock value that means real stock value and uh, red line indicates the predict predicted stock values here some plots are matching whereas some so uh, some shows some slight variations as well so these variations are uh, minor that means that if error is if error rate is maximum these variations are maximum so if error rate is minimum these variations are a minimum so for uh, eliminating error factors we use some other models like uh, normal distributions if the uh, standard uh, normal deviation is uh, more away more away from the mean so we will get more error rate and all those things so here this is the project i have uh, done so uh, this is the time series prediction using arima of stock value of apple company data so actually i have started to predict uh, i have initially uh, stepped forward for making predictions of my your college future admissions but due to inappropriate data sets uh, uh, available i have made i have taken apple company's uh, stock market data of past 10 years and i have predicted the future of this apple company so you can use this application uh, wherever you want in business solutions and all over uh, you can make uh, you, it is best suitable for uh, what we can say prediction of stock values and after predicting you can make nece uh, necessary steps for increasing if for improvement or uh, declining of the for improvement of the what we can say companies growth and all those things so thank you for thank you